Hello everyone, um, I'm Tom Lynch, I'm a project manager at Matthews House and I wanted to give you a little update um, of what's happening at the moment and what's gone on in the last few weeks. Um, so a couple of weeks ago you, you will have known that the, the pandemic hit um, and it put a lot of people in a difficult situation. Um, it meant people had to isolate. Places that were feeding the homeless and vulnerable in our city had to close down with many of their volunteers um, being elderly or in the at-risk category. And there was many people struggling and we just knew that we had to do something. Um, chatting with the NHS nurse, we had a meeting and uh, Sean at Zach's place and, and a few other people that are key members in this city. We knew we had to do something. We knew food was important. If people get sick and they're not eating, um, they're going to struggle more than others. And we, and we just knew that that was a gap that we weren't happy um, leaving open. So we, we, we've got a plan together. Um, we, we pulled friends. We've got other groups that um, want to love and support vulnerable people, homeless people in our city. Pulled everyone together. And um, we, we created a Swansea Together network. Um, so Swansea Together is, is a coalition of amazing charities and groups and people that just want to look after homeless and vulnerable people in our city, um, just like us. And, and there's, there's many brilliant people part of it. Um, and Matthew's House, what it used to be, a, a pay-as-you-feel cafe, showers, laundry, dignity packs and everything. Um, we've had to redesign what we do to continue uh, giving hope and hospitality in our city. So working um, and helping to lead the Swansea Together Network, um, we now run a seven day week operation supported by so many amazing people um, to make sure that food goes to everybody in temporary accommodation, um, whether they're rough sleeping um, and people vulnerable as well. So currently um, every day around between 11 and 12, Meals get dropped off into 18, 19 locations across the city to look after those people. People without um, cooking facilities and food storage facilities. Um, people that may have been forgotten in this crisis. And, um, and, and we just wanted to update you that that's what we're doing now at Matthew's House. Um, we, we've got volunteers at the building all taking uh, the necessary precautions. We've been blessed by other charities and groups and companies and we, we've got enough gloves and we're ordering more and we've had donations to buy more and purchase more and we've had sanitizer gels and um, we're just ordering and getting face masks and other things and we're you know uh, using the two meter rule so only three people in the kitchen now and things like that and we're just trying to do our best with the volunteers that we have uh, to make sure no one's forgotten. And, and we just wanted to update you with that. Um, people who are friends of Matthew's House, people who give to us monthly um, with a faithful financial donation, people who have kept us going. Um, we want to thank you. You guys are so important to us. Um, and we want to thank everyone else that's donated um, after uh, as, uh, through the change and with what we're doing now, with our relief efforts and our response to um, try and look after the city better. We've been supported by... Uh, the council by Mecca and Carolyn Harris and the night shelter, Sean at Zach's place, the Wallet crisis, a uh, access point, Kyle Ass, um, loads of people, you know, uh, shared plate and mumbles who are uh, cooking a load of food, Gorgie's cuisine, Ty Bach have recently jumped on board to support us as well. And we're just coordinating this mammoth effort uh, to make sure no one's forget forgotten. So thank you. Thank you for everything. Uh, thank you for every donation um, that you've put into Matthew's house to keep Matthew's house supporting Swansea together. But also thank you for supporting. We've got another restricted fund um, that is for the uh, Swansea together support. So, um, so yeah, it's a restricted fund. If you want to donate to that, keep donating. Um, you know, we're being supported by the council. Like I said, they've got a donation uh, centre for actually around Swansea now and and that came from being part of Swansea together that the council bought into this idea that actually uh, food poverty is going to be a huge thing 
um, and they're getting ready and they're ordering and you know with, with stuff that we need we can put an order and if they've got it then we can um, add it into our things as well so but we just wanted to update you wanted to thank you uh, for supporting Matthew's house through these changes um, as we continue to lead Swansea together um, with some amazing people um, and look after some other amazing people too. Um, thank you for supporting us. Um, please get in touch if you've uh, got any questions of what we're doing, how we're doing it. Um, please sign up to our newsletter, our monthly update. We'll be doing some uh, interviews and stuff like this. Um, and also we've got a pretty uh, cool, fun event um, coming up in the next eight weeks. And, and it's part of keeping Murphy's House sustainable. We've still got a building to pay for. Um, we've still got people to look after. We're still cooking the food that we've always cooked. Um, and we're still managing things, if not managing and leading a little bit more than we ever have. Um, and I just want to thank the faithful people who've been with us for a whole long time and for the people who've joined in uh, and supported us now in this crisis. You, um, thank you so much. Matthew's House is an initiative of the Hill Church and seeks to provide hope through the sheer power of hospitality to some of the most vulnerable, isolated and disenfranchised people in the heart of the city. To find out more or support our work, please visit www.matthewshouse.org.uk